Hey guys, Paloma here and welcome to the Bates House. Today I'm going to be coming at you guys with a really fun Dollar Zone haul. Typically, I like to find really cool items at Dollar Zone for $1.79 and compare them to big box store retail prices. But today I felt like I wanted to show you how I incorporate these items into my home and how we use them on an everyday basis. A lot of these items are really good quality and really awesome finds for the price. And I just feel like it would be a fun spin to see what that looks like when you create a space on a budget. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Starting off, I found a few of these barbecue themed utensils. I thought these were adorable. So I'm going to be taking out some of the plastic handle utensils that I've had for several years from my kitchen and replacing those with these. I feel like these have a super cute touch of metal and wood and I love the little faux leather cording and all of that stuff. And for $1.79, you can't beat it. I went ahead and picked up two of the tongs. I like them because they're fairly large, so if you have any oil popping, it won't be too close to your hands. I picked up the brush and two spatulas. I feel like that was a great combination and it will fulfill the majority of my needs. I am still going to be looking for slotted spoons, but aside from that, I think these are really fun replacements and they don't take up a lot of space. There's not a lot of chunk and overlapping, so I really like that as well. This next set is from Bed Bath & Beyond, and you know it did not retail $1.79 at Bed Bath & Beyond. It is a three-piece whisk set from Simply Essential, and I absolutely love them. They are super basic, very clean line, no chunky, heavy handle. The metal is actually very durable and sturdy, and I love the fact that there is a small, medium, and large. I like that whenever I hang these, they actually don't take up a lot of space either because they don't have a super chunky handle or anything to kind of get in the way of the other utensils and tools that I have hanging up already. The next item is this two-cup all-glass measuring cup. I was so excited to see this. Now, typically I remember the things that I need or what I'm looking for whenever I'm in the stores, but I always forget that I need a measuring cup for the kitchen until I'm in the kitchen and I need a measuring cup. Then I got to go and take one from the baking station and make sure that it makes it way, its way back. So I was super excited to find this all glass two cup measuring cup with textured measurements so that I don't have to worry about paint peeling or the kids overwashing or anything like that. Now, I needed a place to store it because I don't really have overhead cabinet space, so I figured that I could put it in this spice cabinet that I refurbished from a clock to a cabinet and take out this one glass jar that I haven't used since the day I put this up. It's been, well, I think over a year, so this measuring cup will fit perfectly there, and it's super close to the stove and my big jar of rice. Next is this all metal corkscrew. I believe this was on a clip strip that was $277, $297, something like that, but they had it for $179. Now, I actually thrifted this really cool, big, fancy tabletop wine bottle uh, opener and all this stuff, right? But sometimes you just need a manual hand corkscrew and the hubby was looking one for one and I could have sworn I had one, but I think I might have just misplaced it with the party or something. Either way, I got a new one. It was a buck 79 and it's going to go into my refurbished gun cabinet into wine glass cabinet. This is where I like to keep all of my cool wine glasses that I use whenever I just want to feel super fancy. Next are some Spice Supreme herbs. So I've seen this brand in many different dollar stores and you can find the basics typically in those stores. There are very few places that I know of that have a huge variety of what this brand offers. So these herbs and seasonings are made by Gel Spice. If you go on Amazon and look for bulk seasonings, a lot of the time they're going to be by Gel Spice. When I see a huge variety, I'll try to pick a few of the ones that I don't already have. 
So the majorum leaves and the caraway seeds are going to be for things like bread and teas. And the ground mustard and mustard seeds are actually for mustard. I'm going to be experimenting with fermenting mayonnaise, making my own mustard and making my own ketchup and all that good stuff. Because of course I am into canning and I'm trying to dabble in all things homemade or scratch made. So that being said, I picked up these four that I'm going to be adding to my small collection of seeds and herbs that I've purchased previously from this brand. Since a lot of the seasonings or spices that I get from this brand are not everyday style seasonings, I do store them in our overflow pantry. I made a DIY spice rack in my DIY overflow food pantry, and that is where we store all of our extra spices that I find while I'm out shopping. If I can get a good deal on them, I will snag them. Since Gel Spice does sell these products in bulk on Amazon for roughly $35 and up, I feel like this is a great way to experiment with them and see if you actually like the quality so you know if you want to bite the bullet and buy in bulk, which most likely we will be. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. On Instagram, I share all of my home projects with you guys whenever I'm going through different processes. I created this pantry using Facebook Market Find Furniture, simply took two entertainment center ends and put them all together and I have an overflow pantry that looks oh so fancy. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look in our canning station. One thing that makes me very happy is finding canning tools and utensils on a budget. This large ladle shaped screen spoon thing is perfect for separating pulp from juice. I could have totally used this the other day when I was making cranberry juice concentrate, but hey, it'll be there in the future now. I can use it whenever I need it. It makes me very happy to be able to bulk up my tools and stash on a budget because canning has become one of my favorite things to do, I think, in the history of ever. And that's saying a lot because I do a lot of different things. Canning is an absolute love at this point. So stocking up on tools and supplies on a budget is a definite must. And for a buck seventy nine, that is a purchase price to me. Now, I know there's a few of you that will remember, I think back in like 2013 or something like that, it was requested that I do a no pantry organization video. So I did. I removed everything from my cabinets and I used the cabinets as pantry storage. And one of the big things that was a hit in that video was using curtain rods to stop the cans from rolling out of the cabinet because instead of stacking them, we laid them on their sides and they kind of dispensed uh, their way forward as we would use them. Ever since then, I have absolutely loved using curtain rods for my cans and jars. I use it still ever since then. It's totally worth doing. You could do get the same effect with a piece of wood or something like that, just adding a trim or a lip to your shelving spaces. But if you don't have that, curtain rods work. So that being said, I found these adorable gold curtain rods at Dollar Zone for $1.79 and they add the perfect cute little accent touch to the edges of my canning shelves. This just stole my heart. The gold touch is just all the vintage vibes I could want <laughs> in that area. Now the curtain rod is as short as 28 inches and then you can extend it to, I believe it said 48 inches. Either way, this is just so cute and I am so happy that I grabbed them. I do believe I picked up five total. I did wind up adding one more to that very shallow shelf. Speaking of pantries, I found some really cute storage jars also at Dollar Zone for $1.79. They did have three different sizes. Actually, they had more, but I went with three different sizes. And I wanted to go with something that kind of felt old world to me. Since I do a lot of canning already, I have a lot of the vintage ball style jars and some clamp style jars, but I wanted something just different. So the small jars reminded me of like an old world jelly jar. And then the bigger ones kind of resembled the small ones. And then these other ones were just a different shape altogether. So I felt like this was going to be the ones for me. They were a good variety, a great size. Now I wish the smaller ones weren't 
also a dollar 79 but it just is what it is i felt like all of them were worth the buck 79 to add into this space and get the look that i wanted and also get the functionality that i wanted so i went ahead and grabbed a huge variety of all the different types and i'm glad i did because it gave it the exact look that i wanted on a budget Next, I picked up two packs of the Goya rice flour. It says that it is non-GMO, gluten-free, and all that jazz. This is a 12-ounce bag. I picked up two because I have a friend that is from the Philippines, and she sent me this recipe for this, uh, I don't know what it was, rice flour, sticky something or other. It's like a semi-sweet kind of thing. Oh my gosh, it's like addicting. So I want to make it so I can eat them whenever I want. All right, next I found some baking station goodies. These are a lot of fun. So the first two items are icing bottles. You get one bottle and two lids with tips. You can use these to decorate your cookies, your cakes, or any baking thing that you want to add detail to. A buck 79 is not bad at all if you're going to get staple pieces for your baking area that you can reuse long term and will serve multiple functions that you need them to. The next one I got is the fondant smoother. It's basically a fat surface spatula with a handle that you can use to smooth out your fondant. I found Wilton fondant some time ago and I'm excited to just play with it. Like I'm not a fondant or cake baker type person, but I love to experiment when baking. So I'm glad I got this tool. Plus you could use it for other things. Next, I found two of these Good Cook Gourmet really great quality spatula spoons. They are a solid wood handle with a very thick silicone. It is flexible, but at the same time, very sturdy and it has really good weight to it. So for buck 79, these are a definite must. All of this could go together and make a great Christmas baking themed gift for the baker in your life. Next, I found some garden scissors. There are three different styles and I love the fact that the handle is like big. My husband has really big hands and he's the one that does all the gardening stuff. Like I'm just the one who uses the things to make things. <laughs> he grows it, I use it. But I always need herbs and stuff whenever I'm making maybe a flavored butter or making pizza. So I am going to keep one set for myself and give him the other two. So that way, whenever I need to just run out the door, run downstairs, snip a few things and then run back inside, I have my scissors already in that area and I don't go plucking them off of his plant and then he get mad at me. <laughs> Next, I picked up some Clorox wipes. These are a 75 count of the disinfectant wipes in the fresh scent. Now, in our house, we have started to reduce chemical cleaners and usage of those things on a daily basis, but I still feel like it's important to run around and disinfect all the things whenever you have a huge spree of like drippy noses and sore throats and all that like we just had. I literally went around the house today and disinfected. <laughs> so, if I see them at a buck 79, for me, I feel like that is a definite purchase price and stock up price, especially with as many people as we have in this house. Sometimes I feel like just for my sanity, I'm going to run around and sanitize. Okay. Just, I have to do it because there's too many, too many in this house to not refresh every now and again. But I am reducing a lot of the everyday stuff. We're going through uh, the last bits of what we have, and then we will not be repurchasing a lot of the things that people usually buy. So it's, it's pretty interesting, this journey. Next, I found some scouring pads. These are just extra large pads. I will cut them down and use them as I need them. Some are for my eBay shipping area for refurbishing a lot of the pieces that I find. And then some are just for the kitchen for washing dishes or cleaning my cast iron or anything like that. I can just chop them down to small sizes, get my use out of them, and then toss them. Next, we're going to look at some crafting goodies. I still have my craft room. I still love my craft room, even though I haven't done a lot of crafty videos. It's still a thing. I use it. I'm a creative doer. I like to have these things on hand. I love having some of these really pretty 
die cut alphas that are um, adhesives. They are basically cursive letter stickers and they are so pretty in this gorgeous black color and they are by Momentum or Memento. Either way, I've found some other really cool stuff from Dollar Zone in that brand as well and it's beautiful. These are gold foil numbers and of course we could use these on poster boards, on menu boards, on event boards, like whatever. For $1.79, seventy-nine, you know you're not going to walk into Hobby Lobby and Michaels and find them there for that unless you're waiting for a 90% off clearance. Next, I picked up two sets of these dressmaking scissors. So they have a really long blade and this really nice handle that has an extended flat edge. It makes it perfect for following the cut guidelines on maybe wrapping paper. And that flat edge kind of just helps the scissors slide smooth on the surface that you're cutting on. I felt like it was very easy to use these. They're lightweight, not too heavy. I'm not sure how they would work cutting through some denim or something like that, but they are really nice to have on hand in my craft space. Next, I found some bar pins. Now, do I use bar pins on an everyday basis? No, absolutely not. I do not. <laughs> do I use them uh, ever? No, I don't, but I know things I could use them for, and I have a lot of kids, and my kids do creative things for school, and I feel like stocking up on craft supplies on a budget is a must, especially if you just want to make sure you have it when you need it. Next is the Post-it Extreme Post-it Notepad. So this is actually pretty cool. I picked this up for the hubby. He doesn't know it. He saw it and he was like, oh, this is cool. And I was like, yeah, put it down. You can't have it. <laughs> but it is actually for him. The cool thing about this is that this mount has a very strong adhesive. It can adhere to brick, wood, metal, whatever. And it is waterproof, moisture proof, and all that good stuff. So that's really cool because the hubby does a lot of projects with me and we are always having like running plans in our brain and we kind of use something in this same system already. So when we have things that come up when it comes to certain dates and all that stuff. We have a chalkboard that we refer to and I kind of feel like this is the same system but for the hubby space to kind of get all of those uh, thoughts and ideas out of his brain and just dump them onto this so he can see it in passing whenever he needs to remember something instead of trying to hold all that information in his head. So that is going to be for him. Also for the hubby, I have this no rinsing required goo gone hand cleaner and it says that it's strong enough to clean grease tar paint oil dirt and soil and that it won't leave your hands super dry like I said the hubby is always doing 101 different things he actually saw this and was like oh this is cool why'd you only get one so of course when I go back I will be getting some more just for him to have in his workshop again we use stuff like this because we do a lot. This is a US-based product and it says non-toxic. However, that is, I don't know, but it's going to be something that he doesn't have to look for himself. He won't have to stop and go buy it. He won't, you know, just need it one day and not have it. I'm going to grab one more for him and he can have them in his workshop. And for a buck 79, definite purchase price. The next item is just a small necessity. So the boys are equal investors in the Bates Boys Batch, right? And we have this sifting table where you sift out the seeds and kernels from the popcorn. And there's this metal plate that we kind of put there whenever we are cooling the popcorn and adding the salt and doing the things. Well, that stupid metal plate <laughs> falls over every half second. And when it does, the popcorn gets behind it or the popcorn flips up and kind of falls out because of it. So we're getting a clamp to clamp the stupid metal plate in place and problem solved. Now, the little metal clamp was a buck 99 wherever it retailed at, but I got it for $1.79, still saving, not much, but it's going to serve a great purpose and the solution will just feel like it's totally worth every penny. The next few items are going to be kind of Christmassy stocking stuffer related. I found these two faux fabric kind of paper bags. They are drawstring bags. They are very big and they were $1.79 a piece as well. I like to use these as pillow covers. I know it sounds crazy, but I feel like it's so festive and decorative and it's so cute. It just adds the perfect little touch to your lounge chairs, to just any small chairs that you have in different spaces. It's a lot of fun and it's super cheap, so why not? 
Also some really cool stocking stuffers or gift type things. I grabbed two of these full size bottles of the Schwarzkopf hairspray. It is the Osis Osis Plus and I know Schwarzkopf is not a $1.79 product. Absolutely not. So I'm going to hang on to these and see if I can put together some type of personal care kit as a gift for somebody. I don't know who yet, but it's a really good name brand product. So I went ahead and grabbed both of them so that I can have them on hand as I build up something. The next thing is a USB cable. It is a micro USB cable. I got this because it's really nice quality. So the cord is an actual kind of like canvasy fabric. I don't know. And it has these really cute beads on it. The boys are always needing and using USB cables for all the things. So I just grabbed that to have it on hand for them and it looks nice. Also, I picked up a jewelry cleaner because the boys do not know that they're getting jewelry for Christmas. Uh, so I'm going to let them open this as a joint gift and they'll be like, what is this for? And then they'll open their jewelry. So very excited about that. All right, guys. So that is pretty much it for a look at how I incorporate all of my dollar zone finds in the Bates house. I do hope that you enjoyed watching a different style of video. I know it's not the regular retail price comparison, but it's still fun to see how you can incorporate $1.79 items into your home and use them in everyday systems because organizing is always fun, but organizing on a budget is even better. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below and let me know what your favorite find was. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out and also hit the notification bell to be notified of new videos whenever I do post. If you know anybody that likes dollar store hauls or content like this, go ahead and share this video to help our community grow. You can also stick around and watch the pictures of the items that I did not get at the end of the video. And you can follow me on my Instagram at the Bates House or hashtag Bates House pretty much anything and I will be there. But for now, guys, that is it for this one and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.